right? It's about the thousands and thousands of black and brown and indigenous and poor people that are terrorizing this country every day. It's about waking up in the morning and sending our husbands or our sons or our daughters into this freaking world and not knowing if they're going to come home. It's about being pulled over and that even though all your L's is straight, when you see them red and blue lights, you start to sweat and your heart starts to race and you get sick to your stomach because you don't know if you're going to make it out of that situation alive. It's right. about living every single day with the terror of knowing Ellen. that your skin is a conviction in the eyes of this government. Your skin is a conviction in the eyes of this police. And when they gun you down in the middle of the street, if the masses don't rise up, nobody's going to notice. It's about the post-traumatic stress disorder that we have from living in this country and surviving it. That's why we're out here today. We're out here to change the game, and this can't be it. Right? That neighborhood that we walked through, we'll be back there next weekend. Come get at us. It's time for door-to-door, -door, block by block, organizing this movement. The time is right now. We can't look in the faces of our children and tell them that we put down the mantle. We can't be looking in the faces of our babies and it still be one every 28 hours. That's not acceptable. We have enough national and international momentum now to make this stop now. But now it's about the, the, the dirty work, the boring work, the work that the media is not going to cover. Go talk to your neighbors. Go talk to those folks on Section 8. Go stand at social services building. Recruit people in your organization. Do the political education. Identify campaigns. Divest from this crooked system. It can't do Ellen! nothing for you. Ellen! Stop calling the police. Stop taking your baby daddy to court. Stop going to investing in the system. Create systems in our community where we hold each other accountable for acting right and living right. There is nothing in that system for you. Get that through your head. Nothing. It's a lie. And all of us are infected with the disease of white supremacy. And we have got to start to do the work to disinfect ourselves. To clear ourselves, to clarify ourselves with the ancient wisdom of our ancestors who know how to live. We just each other. The only way they stop killing us is if we stop engaging with them. So we got to start figuring out how to do that. We have some very special people in my heart up here getting ready to talk. One of the big reasons that we're out here is for the families. The families that have had loved ones stolen from them by state violence. So I'm going to turn it over to them. Um, the first person I'm going to bring up is Sister Lori Valdez out of San Jose. And she's going to talk about her Justice for Josiah campaign. Y'all give it up. me talking to myself, ruling on myself in a room somewhere. <laughs> These family members have stood up and they stand up and they're soldiers and they walk with the problem that we're mad about. They walk with that every single day. They didn't ask us to make their children martyrs, right? But they stand up and do this work. So please give these family members love. 